app Vita. Look who's hitting the test switch. A Unibox app with no game. Let's convert this simple phase of Vita to something sophisticated, shall we? Hey Terry, with you here in D-Lab. Project here is an old Lafayette amp which was actually made by Univox. It's the model U320. I modified this amp to have a Fender power supply. So it's got the big mammoth Fender transformer and then we pulled the 7591 tubes and replaced them with 6L6s. And I thought, man, this is going to be a great amp. However, there's one little problem. The 6L6s required much more drive. So even though the amp sounded good, it wasn't loud. So the only solution is, update the inverter. Watch the video, see what you think. So we take a look at the Univox's inverter. And you can see here, this is a simple split load type inverter. Same type that they used in a Princeton. And then ahead of it, they have a little driver stage making up for the loss of the tone circuits. So what I want to do to get more gain out of the amp is we're going to take these two triodes combine this together and make a long tailed inverter like they used in the Fender Deluxe. So here is the circuit from the Fender Reverb Deluxe. This inverter circuit right here is what we're going to put into the Univox to take care of the low gain situation. Now the other thing I'm going to add is coming into this we're going to add a driver because that driver will be missing and we're still going to need it to make up for the preamp and tone control loss. So as I stated earlier we're going to turn this into a 12AT7 typical Fender Deluxe type of inverter. And then these three leads here that were normally the driver side I'm going to add a 7 pin tube to the chassis and that's going to be the driver for the loss of the tone circuits. Here's the Univox under test with the stack configuration. So here's the inverter circuit. There's the inverter tube, one half being the inverter, the other half being the driver for the tone circuit. I'm coming into it with about a 150 millivolt signal. I'm going to crank it full bore and watch the scope. That's full bore. Hear that click? That's when the pot's all the way up and it just starts to distort. So of course since I have to turn this thing full blast just to get this thing to respond the rest of the pot really doesn't do you much good unless you just want to play some low level practice. So we need to increase the gain on the amp. Since this is an experiment and I may fail what I'm going to do is we're going to wire this little 6AV6 here on the bottom side of the chassis and we're just going to let it sit there for the test. If it's all successful then I'll add an additional hole and we'll mount the socket and rewire this thing. So this whole little task that we're doing is fully reversible if it doesn't work. No harm done except a loss of time. Okay our driver stage is wired in ready to go. Now let's wire up the inverter. Here's the modified circuit, the new inverter which is a 12AT7, the driver is a 6AT7. Same gain test, bring up the volume pot. Now in this case I can only go about a quarter to a third of the way, now watch the scope. Dramatic difference in gain. Quick check with a guitar. Lots of volume. Little noise, but obviously you'd expect that with the tube laying in it, right? So next step, let's get the hole drilled, get the tube mounted, wrap it up. Well, here's a new lineup for the inverter circuit and the driver top side. And you can see this amp runs a pair of 6L6s and has a 5AR4 rectifier which you won't find on a typical Univox 320. This one has been modified to work like a real amp. 
So here's the added circuitry to the circuit board to support the 12AT7 inverter tube. Here's the 6AT6 driver tube. It all went in there very nicely and now the amp has proper gain to where any electric guitar enthusiast would love it. Oh, bravo, Dilab, bravo, this is juicy information. As you can see, don't be afraid to try this mod. The documentation is out there. Tried and tested. Stop living with sour ants.